Please consider the guidelines concerning the waste disposal, which are shown at the end of the video. For the thermite reaction experiment, you'll need an aluminium oxide iron mixture, called thermite, a sparkler, two pots and a tripod. At first, we put the thermite into a pot which must have a hole on the bottom. Afterwards, the pot is being converted to the tripod, which should be placed over a sand bucket or something similar to catch the outflowing hot iron, which passes through as soon as the reaction starts. Now you can burn the sparkler and add it to the mixture. This sparkler is needed to bring the starting temperature of the reaction. Thermite forces a strong exothermic reaction, whose heat pending can go up to 2500 degrees Celsius. On the ground of the pot, you can see the outflowing glowing hot thermite, which reacted to a raw iron. The burning thermite shouldn't be distinguished with water, it would evaporate immediately and an explosion may take place. If you really have to or want to distinguish it, you have to use sand instead of water.